Hi, welcome to Arcana Fontana. This is Kenny. Ugh. That's that was Zach. <laughs> and uh we're gonna get on with some more uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. Wright. Ace Attorney. We were waiting Attorney ready. at law. We were waiting for a witness. Let's see who this is gonna be. Will the simplifies meters. Who is your witness? My dick. What? No. The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the Grisham discovery. Who's paying? Oh, me still. Sorry. It's it's confusing when they shift over to someone else. You're like, shit. I'm so sweaty, man. Dude. He's weak. I'm so heavy. For real, man. Uh, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Rabble, 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 rabble. rabble. No. <laughs> Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, uh, yeah, your honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my true love gives it now. My witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Shawit to the stand. Oh, man, I got to be careful here. No, I'm pretty sure I did it, but uh, I don't remember what I even did. <clears throat> we, see, that guy hasn't been in the scene yet. I'm going to pin it on him. Oh, Mr. Shawit. You sell newspaper subscriptions. Is that cur this correct? Are you going to voice this guy? Because if I do, I feel like I'm going to... I'll do it. Okay. No, actually, I... <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, actually, I sell... Sh she sells seashells down by the seashore. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> newspapers, yes. <laughs> the fuck? Mr. Sweet. You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Round one. Fight. I was going. <laughs> Damn it. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left that door half open behind him. Thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving. Dead! And apparently not making sandwiches. What is wrong? <laughs> I thought she just spilled herself on some jelly. <laughs> I, I quailed and cried and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working! Apparently, nobody has cell phones. <laughs> I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. How the fuck do you not have a... Something don't seem right with this. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who was... Who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Just the way he's sitting and shifting is just so, like... Ugh. Creepy. Oh, obviously. I move my hands back and forth. I move my hands back and forth. Okay. I move my <clears> shoulders <throat> back and forth. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I gave him the truth finger. What the fuck, Larry? I gave you the truth finger. But you didn't give it to me. I'm a bum. <laughs> <laughs> I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment not working? Why are you focused on that? How about where was the man's cell phone that literally children have at this point? <sighs> I gotta calm down. You were on your time at the murder. There was a blackout in the building. What the fuck? Okay. Aren't, aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Through POTS lines? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. Oh, I guess it is a cord. Well, uh, yeah. The phone that Mr. Stewart used was one of those, Your Honor. I have a record of the blackout for your pursuit. Blackout record added to the court record. 
Yo, dog, I heard you lied records, so I put a record in your record to go with your other records. All right, sorry. Neil, Mr. Right. Can you show me where Mr. Wrong is? Yes. No. <laughs> er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Go to court record. Cr cr cross-examination. Your Honor. Go into the court record. Victim appearance. Uh, oh, yeah, we read that one. This one. Yeah, Electricity go. that Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon till 6 p.m. day of the crime. Go back to the thinker. Okay, go it's rather over. heavy. 7.31 at from 4 to 5 p.m. The Hold blackout on. was at 6 p.m. Oh. But that doesn't mean anything because the murder happened prior to the blackout. She was found dead during the blackout. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't mean that she couldn't have been hit with this sooner. You I mean, that's true, you but he's just, he said he just saw the murder or walk out of the apartment and he checked. Unless he hung around for two hours. Yeah, you're right. That's not adding up. He didn't do it. Well, obviously, the, the cross-examination guy is the murderer. Like, we saw that in the beginning. Man, you're better at this than I am. <laughs> and I watched SVU for a long time, too. I watched fucking Boston Legal, okay? <laughs> I, I could have been Crane, Pool and Schmidt, who was Shatner. That's great. Okay. Denny Crane. My poops don't come out of... My poops don't smell. They come out in pretty colors. <laughs> you read Oh, right, that. right. Never mind. Oh, right, right. <laughs> this is it. The real deal. Uh, uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. We already did. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. Sure is. First, the contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you found the contradicting evidence... I mean, come on, we know what to do. Yeah. Present an irrelevant in the witness's face. Like a bad dog! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Open the court record with tab and then point out the contradictions of the testimony. Are we just ahead of this? Because we did that already. Oh, yeah, we we know. Yeah. And if you don't know, well, now you know. Cross-examination! You know... Right. Let's do it, man. You got it. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. Did we already see this? I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half yeah. open behind him. Oh, this is the same information. Thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Oh, so we're supposed to same. We're RB just... present when we uh, Am I, I don't try know if... and find the lie. You saw her lying there, a woman not moving dead. Oh, did you do that? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure she was dead? I, I guess I'm allowed to hit yeah. hold it. Well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was a blood everywhere. Or jelly. Jelly? I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well, what happened next? I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Unless this is a different time frame and there are no cell phones, and I'm the asshole, but... I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. It wasn't. Now present. Blackout. 6 p.m. Select it. See if you can present that. Objection! Objection! This evidence clearly reveals a conf con contradiction. <laughs> Words. Contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. Words, words, words. Here exactly are the... How exactly are the evidence in the statement just now related? Who translated that? It's how exactly is that evidence in the statement. Not R. I caught that. Sorry. Proud of me. They aren't. Are they? Wait. Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the fix over before oh, making we lost the accusations. Ball? How is that not a fact? He Fuck. fucking said 1 p.m. But 1 p.m. and the blackout, blackout is at 6. Fucking six. So are we doing this wrong? 
I don't think that won me any points with the judge. <sighs> what the fuck did we do wrong? I... One PM. One PM. What, what okay, the... get next. It's the same thing. Sitting right there, you read that. That's all of it. Oh, were we supposed to That's get to here? That's all of it. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. There is. Examine the court record with Ted and something strikes you as suspicious, then find the evidence which contradicts his testimony and present it to the court. What? Uh, but we... It's the same shit. Okay, go towards the very end. <clears throat> so, am I supposed keep to going. press? I think I'm supposed to keep pressing? Because I can, like... Make him second guess. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Okay, wait. Press at 1 p.m. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, we're getting there, guys. Hang on. Oh, fuck. Now he's okay. not going to say it? No, we must have uh, not got there. No, he restarted, so. Yeah, okay. 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 This. Press him. I am. Yeah. 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm, he seems really confident. 1 p.m. Right. That doesn't doesn't that seem strange That's to you? That's what we've been fucking <clears throat> saying for the past 5 mi Yes, Mia. <laughs> Present some evidence to contradict him. All right, we were trying. Go into the court record and try it. Am I supposed to do it at this? Oh, I think that's I, our problem. Well, we're that's what I thought we did. So now, do the evidence. Is this still wrong to use this? Try it. I mean, wait, that the time of the death is that what we're supposed to do? Uh, oh shit! Yeah, that that too. Yeah. Objection! Objection! You found a body at 1 p.m., are you sure? Yes, 1 yes, p.m. Yes, it was 1 p.m. for sure. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Yeah, we just picked the wrong fucking thing. I guess so. We yeah. get there in the end. <laughs> Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death was sometime around 4 p.m. There was nobody to her, uh, no body <laughs> to find at 1 p.m. <laughs> How do you explain this three-hour gap? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that! Uh, <laughs> Why does he have a dot in the center of his? Whoa! Objection! This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. <clears throat> After his testimony, I find it hard to believe, Mister Sahid. Sahid. <laughs> He's got different names. <laughs> Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? Uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. And when Zach voices more people, I can just sip coffee for a bit. Lies always beget more lies. Mm. See through one and their whole story falls apart. Mm, bean juice. Wait, I remember now. All of a sudden, you remember. Would you care to give your testimony again? Why would we believe this flaky ass mofo? Time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard there. The, I just. I can't get this guy's voice. I heard the time. So now he's Mickey Mouse? <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Just, it's all good. There was a voice saying the time it was probably coming from the television. During a blackout? It's during a blackout. This guy just is sketch. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. If there's a... That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. That's shit. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. That's all shit. There was a... Are we the idiots here? Him. I see. You heard a voice saying the name on the tape program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. You're fucking damn right. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. 
That would be the phone battery to use this time because of the blackout time. That's how we do it now. Yep. You see, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Do we do, we do it just, it doesn't yep. matter Keep when I do going. it? going. Hold on. No, hold on. Maybe here? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Try it here? Try it here, I guess. Because this is clearly... Oh, from noon. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. From noon to 6 p.m. So that so means it, 1 p.m., even three hours off, would have made sense because it would have technically No, it wouldn't been, make sense. Yeah. He's saying that the recording might have been off and saying 1 p.m., but it was actually 4. That would still count. Well, wait. The power was still use out, it, though. Use it. That's yeah, still... Yeah, never mind. We're... I'm... Objection! I'm dumb! <laughs> Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of discovery. And this record proves it. Dude, this guy's so fucking fucked. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Got my daddy pants on now. <laughs> Your sugar daddy pants. I will. No. The defiancy is a point. <laughs> oh, this game is fucking... I, I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? Let me do a quick side note. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I troubleshoot court reporters as my other job. So this right here is all fascinating. When I say troubleshoot, there's software. But anyways, moving forward. This is great for me. No, I, I found it quite puzzling myself. Quite. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I remember now. <laughs> no. Mr. Sweet, <laughs> the court would prefer to hear an inquiry testimony from the very beginning. You'd be amazed at some of the shit these people say. The constant, constant corrections are harming your credibility. You're damn right. That and you seem rather distraught. Oh, you just now thought that? It looks like he's doing a pee pee shuffle the whole time he's been <laughs> here. <laughs> Fucking, you ever see that shit? You're seeing it. I live that shit. I've had to do the pee pee dance to like. You know, when I'm driving home in my the seat of my car, like, God damn it, I fuck this red light! I think you're mistaken effort when you need to shit, because I've done that too. <laughs> when you're like, I need to get home right now. Yeah, both. Well, both. My apologies, Your Honor. So it's the shit shuffle. <laughs> uh, it's, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very wheel, Mr. Sawit. Maybe he's not the murderer, but man, his shit ain't looking good. No, he's obviously the murderer. Did you not see the fucking opening video? You were playing it with me. Whatever. Will you see the testimony once more, please? You're right. Oh, yeah, because he's like, let's blame it on that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw Come it. Come on, man. There was a table clock in the apartment. Was it? There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Okay, gotcha. You got it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Well, we well obviously, it. it was a statue of the thinker. That wasn't a clock. My truth you saw finger. a clock. I guess <laughs> that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. We got this bitch. Yeah, we do. We got this bitch, right? Hell yeah. And I say that as a proud feminist. We're going to present right now. Oh my god. Don't present the shit until he says it. There. No. Hold on. He said the table clock was the murder weapon. Was not Do there. it then. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit. I'll go back. Yeah, I'm allowed to go. I can toggle as much okay, as we need gotcha. to. That's now, it. I mean, I can press him, but I'm present. pretty sure we can just present at this point. Yeah. It's fucking right here. Objection! Wait just a damn moment. Slam. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was, it was this a guy thing. taking a shit. <laughs> the thinker shitter. Now, oh wait, are we about to have a dance off? Or do you hear this shit? Hell yeah, dude. That's right. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. yeah, you, you, with your objections and your evidence, and just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I saw it there, okay? That's, the, that's a clock. If there's a clock on here, I'm gonna feel real dumb. You are, I feel me. Yes, Mr. Bean. 
As the witness stated, this- Oh, fuck me. The statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just chilled it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Mm -hmm. Fuck I me. See. So the merely weeping was the table clock after all. Are we fucked? Did we just fuck this? Well, Mr. Right. It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony oh, there? Shit. <sighs> I don't know. Um, and I think we will come back with our decision on the next one, actually, guys. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. So, because uh, I'm stumped. Yeah, we're gonna think about this one for a bit. We'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye. All right.